What's up guys? Have you ever been in this situation? You're sitting around your house during some free time and you think to yourself, there's nothing to do. Sure, you've got massive libraries of streaming movies and TV shows you could watch, all those books you haven't read yet, and if you're anything like me, hundreds of Steam games you haven't even installed. Not to mention all of mankind's combined knowledge that you could use to learn anything you want. But somehow, none of those things seem exciting enough. There's limitless possibilities, but you just don't feel like doing any of them right now. It's not so much that you have nothing to do, but that nothing seems worth doing. So you decide to spend your time looking for something that's really worth doing. That one activity that will bring you ultimate satisfaction. A TV show that's completely engaging for every single second and makes you feel incredible. A movie that will show you the meaning of life. A skill you can learn in one day that will make everything you want a reality by tomorrow. Nothing can meet that level of expectation. You'll never find a perfect thing to do, so instead you sit around feeling bored, doing things that don't require you to make a choice, like aimlessly browsing through your phone or watching YouTube videos. This one doesn't count, okay? When this happens, it's like your brain's gotten stuck in a loop. You'll be thinking the same thing over and over again, when what you really need to do is disrupt the pattern by doing something, anything different. A huge part of the problem is choice paralysis. The more options we have available to us, and the more different those options are to each other, the more likely we are to not choose any of them. This is one way in which people in the past actually had an advantage over us. They had a much more limited range of opportunities available to them, but that actually really helps you to focus on one thing and get a lot out of it. Today, there's endless choices. Learn anything take up any hobby, pursue any career, but with that many choices, it becomes much more difficult to do any one of them. To break out of this loop of indecision and decide on one thing to do, you can use a special secret technique I call making a list. Lists are the best way to prioritize because the human brain really isn't good at thinking about a lot of things at once, with research showing that you can only keep about four chunks of information in your mind at the same time. By writing things down, you're getting ideas out of your brain and into a form of external storage that's better at handling a lot more options. After you've written your ideas down, you can narrow them down to the three best options since this is a number of ideas that you can comfortably think about at once. Then you can take these three options and rank them in order of which is the most appealing to get your number one choice. You'll find that taking yourself from infinite options down to one option makes things a lot simpler. Of course, there are times when knowing what to do isn't enough to make yourself do it. The whole list plan is great for when you're in a good mood, but if you were in a really good mood, you probably wouldn't have gotten stuck in a mental loop in the first place. What if you can't make yourself start anything on a list? What if you can't make the list in the first place? If this happens, then the problem isn't just choice paralysis, it's also a completely drained mind. Everything you try to do requires something called directed attention. This is your ability to focus on one thing exclusively, and it's a finite resource that gets drained every time you try to focus on something or make a decision. Once you've completely burned through your stores of directed attention, you can't make yourself decide on anything. What you need is a way to restore your reserves of directed attention. And assuming you're not at the point in the day when you just need to go to sleep, then the best way to do this is to spend time in a natural environment. If you sit inside all the time, you're constantly giving your brain the same stimuli, ones which don't help your mind to recharge. Whereas natural environments give your brain something very different to work with. In deep work, Cal Newport cites studies that show nature does an amazing job of replenishing your ability to direct your focus because it provides something called inherently fascinating stimuli. The way this works is that all the things you encounter in a natural environment, like trees, stones and streams, occupy your mind a moderate amount, but none of them require you to fully focus on them the way you would when crossing a street in a busy city or working on something at a computer. Spreading your attention out among lots of things around you creates a state of mind that replenishes your ability to act decisively. So, the best order to do things in when you feel like you don't have any good ideas for how to spend your time is to first go out into nature, have a walk or a run if you're feeling up to it, and then, feeling completely refreshed, make your list. 
by writing the list when you have this kind of energy, you'll be able to rely on it later when you're more fatigued, bypassing the mental loop entirely in the future. Thanks for watching guys, hit like to show the YouTube algorithm what's up, subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this, and have a great week.